everyone and welcome back to my channel. Now today I'm going to be showing you my autumn slash fall, depending on where you're from, must have. So these are products or items of clothing or whatever you group these as, must haves. They are things that I cannot live without during autumn and yeah, I just love these so much and I feel like they are just great autumn things. So first off we're going to go with lips. Now I feel like matte lips are the thing in autumn. I have two here and they are both by NYX and they are both absolute gems in my makeup collection. The first one which I wear all the time is the NYX Liquid Lingerie and this is in the shade Corset. It is a beautiful nude colour. Look how pretty that is. I'll swatch it on the back of my hand for you. And it is just gorgeous. I have it on my lips now, but it's worn off a little bit. And it's just a mauvey pink. It dries completely matte. It's not drying at all. And yeah, I just love this so much, especially for autumn. I just feel it goes with everything. And yeah, it's just a very autumn colour and a very me colour. So what more could you want? The next autumn lip must have is the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream and this is in the shade Copenhagen. Now, oh I've got something in my eye. I don't know an uh, autumn fanatic that doesn't own a berry lip. It is just the thing to have in autumn. I just feel like autumn isn't complete without a good old berry lip and if you don't want to um, splurge on too much, that didn't make any sense, if you don't want to splurge too much money on a one product, NYX are the best. They are not too expensive, but they are such good quality. I'll show you a close up of this Copenhagen lip. So this lip one is Copenhagen and then this is the lip lingerie. Now this is such a pretty autumn colour. It isn't too berry, too purpley, it's sort of got an undertone of red but it just suits so many skin tones and it's just so nice. I just, I don't know what I'd do without this in autumn, it is the babe. Now considering blusher, in the summer I love a good pink rosy blusher but in the autumn when it's getting a little bit cooler and the leaves are starting to turn and it's just getting very autumnal. I like a orangey or brownie blusher. I tend to veer away from the pinky ones even though I've got one on today. What are the chances? Um, but orange blushes are my favourite in autumn. It just brings a load of warmth to your face and I don't know, there's something about an orangey corally blusher in autumn that I just absolutely love. I just think that it is the next big craze for autumn. It doesn't swatch on your hand very well because it is quite like, I don't know, it's not got the greatest pigmentation but you don't really want a really pigmented blusher I don't find so yeah I love this so much. I'm just going to go and wash this off because the next two things are clothing and I do not want to get lipstick on the clothes. Okay, what I am going to say about the NYX lip products are that they're very long wearing. I mean, I knew that already, but when it comes to washing them off, you really have to scrub. It's already smudged all the way up here, so we'll just ignore that. Try to ignore the smudges on my hands. Now, I don't think autumn is complete without a checked scarf. Now, if you watch my Primark haul, I think it's two videos below, um, you know that I got this from Primark. It was four pounds, what a bargain, and I have literally lived in this scarf. It is a really thick blanket scarf, so it is super long, super thick, and I love this. You can whack this on with anything, and it just makes the um, outfit just look so much cosier and autumnal. I just love this. I wear this all the time walking to school, and just going to school and yeah I love this so much I cannot explain how much a check scarf makes me happy <laughs> that may sound really sad but I love this 
so much. Have I said so much and more? No, I don't think I have. I'll say it one more time. So much, so much, so much, so much. So much. Try and say so much fast. It's quite tricky. The next thing is something that I got in Primark again, and this wasn't in my Primark haul because I got this since my Primark haul, but I have lived in this. I have literally worn this every single day without fail. As soon as I walk through the door, home from school, dressing gown comes out to play. I wear this so much, and this is probably one of my favourite things I've ever bought from Primark. It was £15, and it's... Da, 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 I can't even get my words out. It is the coziest thing you will ever find in your life. It feels like I've been wrapped up in a hundred blankets and I love it. Yeah, get snuggly on the sofa with this and you won't feel more autumnal. It is the nicest feeling just being all cosy and warm. So the next thing I actually don't have with me and that is because it is impossible to have with me and it is Netflix. Nothing screams winter and autumn like snuggling on the sofa watching some Netflix. I literally love it. Now if you're looking for some things to watch on Netflix, I would highly recommend, right I'm going to go through my list, Prison Break, st d d d Stranger Things, uh, all of the romantic movies, especially the backup plan, that is a great one, Once Upon a Time and what was the other one I was going to say? Uh, Love Rosie. They are my five go-to movies, uh, well two of them aren't movies, well three of them are seasons, but season series, why can't I speak today? This is really bothering me. Two of them are movies. You cannot get a better cosy day than watching Netflix. It is just the best thing on planet earth. So I hope that you enjoyed my video, I really like sharing my go-to things and I think I'll do one of these in winter as well, I just love sharing what things I feel are very appropriate this season. I hope you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up and subscribe, I've just hit 200 subscribers which is crazy and I'm so thankful for it, I love you all lots and lots, bye!